Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fourth CSS animations tutorial and in this video we're going to dive right into keyframes. Okay then dogs, so keyframes are basically the powerhouse of CSS animations and they're going to be where we define our animations and tell CSS how we want the animation to work, uh, which properties we're going to change and when and how exactly they're going to do it, right? So the way this works is that we use a different keyframe block for every type of animation we use on the page. For example, say we want certain elements to drive on this road right here. Then what we do, we create a keyframe block for that drive animation. We'd tell CSS how we want that drive animation to work. And then we'd apply that keyframe animation to different elements on our web page, right? So if we wanted a some kind of animation where we twirl different elements, then we'd make a keyframe block for the twirl animation, do the same kind of thing, tell it how we want to animate, and then apply that keyframe block to different elements on our web page too. So we have all these different keyframes which are going to control our different animations. So I reckon it's easy it's just to jump into an example. And as you can see, I've already gone ahead and opened up this Mario examples folder and got out this index file and the style.css up here. So this is a dead simple HTML file. You can see I've just got this div for sky, grass and road and then these lines in the road as well just to make this kind of crude uh, Mario Kart kind of course. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a Mario onto this road because we're going to animate him across from left to right. So all I'm going to do is add an image tag down here. I'm going to give this a class of Mario so we can style him up. And then the source is in this images folder right here. So we'll say image forward slash Mario dot PNG. Cool. So save that and refresh over here. Now we can see that dude right there. So let's go into the style.css and you can see there's already some base styles here that I've done for you. This is just styling up the sky, the grass and the road. You can take a look through those if you like. But uh, what I want you to look at is these two comments right here. These are the elements that we're going to animate right here, which includes things like this dude. And then down here, we're going to define all of our keyframes. So let's pop Mario in here because we're going to animate him. And we just want to style him up a little bit better. I'm going to give him a position of absolute. And then I'm going to say top minus 40 pixels. This is just going to nudge him up a little bit onto that lane, if you like. All right. Uh, then I just want to say left zero just to, uh, to be safe. And then what I'm going to do down here is make the keyframes block, which is going to control the animation and drive, which we'll use on this dude to drive from left to right. So the way we make a keyframes block is by first putting the at sign and then saying keyframes. And then what we do is we give our animation a name. And this one's going to be called drive, right? If we don't give our animation a name, then it's going to be pretty hard to use it on our elements. We have to give it a unique name. Then we open up the code block. And inside this code block is where we're going to control what happens in this animation, right? So what we need to do is define different states. Now, there's a few ways we can do that, but I'm going to keep it, in, uh, keep it in its simplest form for now. And that's by using the two keywords to and from, right? So all we need to say is to, then a little code block, and then from, sorry, what, uh, wrong way around, from, and then code block to. So what we're saying is we want to go from this state, and we're going to define that state in a minute, to this state. That is the animation, right? We've got two different states. And yet, there's another way we can do this, and I'm going to show you that later as we dive into more advanced uh, tutorials, if you like. So, what I want to do right here is give this a CSS property to animate. And we do all that in this little code block right here. So, let's say we want to animate the transform property, which is going to be translate x from zero, right? So, it's going to start at zero. We're not going to translate it anywhere. And then two, we're going to transform, translate X to about 500 pixels, right? So we want to transform, sorry, uh, animate this um, this dude right here from zero to 500 pixels along the X axis that way, right? So that's all this drive is doing. So now how do we apply this keyframes animation to this element? Well, pretty simple. All we need to do is say animation hyphen name and set it to the name of this keyframes thing down here, which is drive, right? And then we have to say also how long we want the animation to take. And the way we do that is by saying animation hyphen duration, and then setting that to like 
I don't know, three seconds or something, yeah? Save that. If we refresh over here now, we're gonna see that dude drive from zero to 500 pixels, okay? And we could increase this if we want. We could say 700 pixels. That's probably gonna take us right to the edge of this little screen right here. And yeah, but it does pretty much. And you'll notice at the end, what it does is jump back to the original position. Now, we're gonna take a look at that later, don't worry. Uh, but for now, this is essentially how we define our keyframes, okay? We go from a certain state to a certain state, and then we apply these keyframes to these elements that we want them to, right? Okay? So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the next tutorial where we're going to take a look at some more advanced features where we can control these keyframe animations further. I'll see you guys then.